Alright, our next method is called Simpson's Rules. So this is an improvement of the trapezoidal or the multiple application of trapezoidal rule in which we actually introduce another point between the limit. Between this limit, this is your limit, A and B. So we introduce another point here and we use a higher order polynomial to connect all these three points. So let's say in this figure here, the blue line is your function. So we use a parabola to connect this A, B and the middle point. So you can see that you are calculating the integral in a better way. So the error will be uh, less compared to when you use trapezoidal rule. So this is where we use uh, four points instead of three points. We introduce another two points here between the limit A and B and we connect all the four points using a parabola which is this line here. Okay, so this is the higher order polynomial to connect the, the points. The formula that we use for the Simpson's rules is as shown here. This is the formula. So this is the fx0 for the first point which is the A, and this is the fx1, the middle point that we introduce, and this is the fxb. So in this case, the point midway between A and B, you can just definitely calculate by B plus A divided by 2. So again, Simpson's one-third rule is more accurate than trapezoidal rule. So this is the formula for the Simpson's one-third rule, Simpson's satu per tiga rule, okay? For the Simpsons rules, we have two types. We have Simpsons 1 third and Simpsons, Simpsons 3 over 8. So we are looking into Simpsons 1 third first. Okay, let's look at the same example, but we use Simpsons 1 third. The same function as before. Um, the function that you use to calculate the integral using the trapezoidal rule in the previous example. And you, are also, you also have the same limit from 0 to 0 0.8. And since you need to use Simpson's one-third rule, you know that you need to have another point. Okay? So this is your limit from 0 and 0 0.8. So if you need to use one-third rule, you need to have another point. So this is your middle point. So the question is, what is your middle point here? So again, you need to calculate the same before. The, the step size. The step size has to be the same for every segment. So you know that this should be 0 0.4 and this also should be 0 0.4 because H is the step size. They have to have the same width, all right, or the same size for all the segments. First segment, two segment, three segment, four segment, five segment, and so on. So these are called segments, okay? So 0 0.4, 0 0.4, you can actually, uh, then you can work out what is the middle point. So solve this by substituting all these values into this function and then plug in all these values into this formula. So you will get your new answer for this integral using Simpson's one-third rule. Um, the error that you get is 16.8%. So this is five times more accurate compared to the trapezoidal rule just now. Trapezoidal rule is 89.5%. Okay, next is multiple application Simpson's one-third rule. It's the same as the previous trapezoidal rule. This also has multiple application. So meaning you have... Um, you are dividing the segments into a few Simpsons one third, Simpsons one third uh, rules. So you have multiple Simpsons one third. Okay, just to improve your answer for the integral. But please bear in mind that the values have to be equispace. I will show you the graph after this. Okay, so please bear this in mind, the red ball color here. This case is limited to situations where there are even number of segments and odd number of points. Alright, so please remember this. You only use multiple application Simpsons wanted if there are even number of segments and odd number of points. 
Okay, so this is what it means by equispace, meaning the step size. The segment has to be equispace, the same. If this is 0 0.2, the rest also have to be 0 0.2. You cannot have this suddenly 0 0.5. No. So you cannot use multiple application of uh, Simpson's one-third rule. Okay. So um, just now it says even number of segments, odd number of points. Okay. So uh, let's count the segments. How many? Let's see whether the segments are odd or even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 segments and how many points? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 number of points. So we um, have satisfied the condition which is even number of segments or number of points. That is what it means. Okay. So this is the formula for the multiple Simpson's one-third rule. Okay, if you look at this formula here, you can see that uh, we have here the function for the first limit and then the function for the last limit. And then we have in the middle here, um, we have this term with 4 and another term with 2. So this one here for the odd points. And this is the term for the even points. So, for all the odd points, <coughs> you use for this part. And for all the even points, we use for this part. 